Carolina Panthers entering the Dave Canales era for the 2024 season. Canales coming over from Tampa Bay to be the Panthers' new head coach. And with Bryce Young being a going concern for the Panthers and their fans, Canales could be the perfect fit given what he's done with Geno Smith in Seattle and Baker Mayfield in Tampa. And Young was the topic of conversation when he sat down with former GM Rick Spielman and insider Jonathan Jones this afternoon. Jonathan Jones, CBS Sports, alongside Rick Spielman, alongside the new Carolina Panthers head football coach, Dave Canales. And Dave, uh, we were just talking off camera about the question you've gotten the most yeah. over here, which, of course, it deals with Bryce Young, former number one overall pick. And how do you, quote unquote, fix Bryce? And so um, I go the easy way out and I ask you the question everyone else has asked. How do you fix Bryce Young? Yeah, so it's really not a fix for me. Um, really, it's about uh, building around Bryce, just an offense that's tough, that's explosive, that's smart. We just got to have answers for things. Answers in the run game, answers in the pass game and the protection, just to be able to take care of and minimize some of the damage that can happen and take advantage of some things. And so I just want Bryce to be able to get into a position where he's just playing his part, um, where it doesn't feel so heavy, like he's, like he's being asked to carry all this, regardless of where he was selected in the draft, you know, regardless of, of how he came to the Carolina Panthers, he's our quarterback. Let's build an offense that's smart. Let's build an offense that um, will grow into the talent that we surround him with. Um, and year two improvement. You know, there's there's a laundry list of things that rookie quarterbacks need to get better at. Um, and so we'll take that, you know, in stride. Um, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like this drastic um, emergency to try to fix some things that are like really, you know, that you should be in high alert for sure. necessarily. When you look at the quarterbacks and your success with quarterbacks out in Seattle as a quarterback coach with Russell Wilson and then what you did with Geno Smith and then you go to Tampa and first time offensive coordinator, first opportunity to get a call plays and the success you had with Baker Mayfield. What is it when you're a coach identifying the strengths of those guys and do you see any of Bryce Young's game and any of the other quarterbacks that you had success coaching? Yeah, thanks for asking Rick. So it's, you know, for me, I've been a little bit spoiled with, you know, um, having Geno that far along in his career, having Baker that far along in his career. You know, I was part of the process as Russell kind of grew up in Seattle, um, but I wasn't directly his quarterback's coach until later in his career. So I've really taken these guys who have had a lot of experience. So now we're going to really see if I'm a good coach or not this year um, <laughs> because we have we have Bryce who now, you know, gets to really um, take leaps. Um, but I'm excited for it. And one of the things that I can see in Bryce is just uh, the demeanor, the depth of character, um, the accuracy. Those are things that all of the guys that I've coached that you mentioned, Russell, Gino, Baker, these are really accurate quarterbacks. Um, these are guys who have courage under pressure, you know, courage under fire, and, and Bryce has those same things. Play before, he may get just completely smoked. And the next play, he's stepping up in the pocket. He's ripping a 20-yard in cut down the field, you know, so he's got the makeup. Um, the two wins that happened last year were on end-of-game drives, you know, so he's got that ability to be rhythmic. He's got that ability to, um, to really be cool in those high high pressure situations you know so um let's be closer in those games to have that come come available more often you know let's let's be on the other side of it you know let's play with the lead you know and to see this defense you know see brian burns and see Derek brown really get after a quarterback with a lead you know i'd love to see that pass rush you know um really come to life but um Anyway, those are some of the similarities I see in Bryce from the guys that I've coached. David, we have time for one more question here, and that question would be, of the things that, let's forget about Bryce, who is unforgettable, but what really, truly, when you watched the tape, when you took this job, did you say, I can go in there and I can change that? Yeah. I see the potential, and let me get my hands on it. Yeah, so the first thing I would mention is the defense. We have so much carryover with Ajero being there, leading the defense, a few big pieces on that side of it that give us a chance to play the type of football that wins. Offensively, 
we have some great pieces, but it's about marrying the runs to the play actions and to the to the boot game that really wasn't a focus and an emphasis of what they were doing offensively. So mm -hmm. I think that's a simple starting point there. Um, and then just the timing and rhythm of the pass game. You know, let's get the ball out quicker. Let's get number one and number two open on a more consistent basis for the quarterback. We have to work harder as a staff. We have to really challenge ourselves to bunch, to stack, to motion, to get matchups so that we can have the first or second progressions available sooner so that the protection isn't as much a factor. Good deal. That's music to everyone in Charlotte's <laughs> ears, I know, uh, having been on Twitter. So, Dave Canales, <laughs> Carolina Panthers head coach, thanks so much for the time. Thank you. This is just one of the many stories that under discussion on the Pick 6 podcast as we get into the meat of the offseason NFL Combine Week. You can join Will Brinson and all the super friends as they discuss the major storylines coming out of Indy and, of course, throughout the offseason on the Pick 6 podcast. Download and follow wherever you get your pods or scan that QR code to listen to the latest episode right now.